What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I'm back with another video. So today we're going to be going over three rotation changes that the Cavaliers must make. So before I start, if you want to see more NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I do post daily. And also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So the Cavaliers have been pretty shaky as of late, losing three of their last five games. I think some changes must be made to the rotation as Ty Lue has done a poor job in my opinion of managing the player's distribution of minutes. So I'll go over that more in detail as I start off with the first change, with swapping Kyle Korver for J.R. Smith in the starting lineup. Korver has been pretty solid this season for the Cavs, as he has provided his usual great shooting with a 43.1 three-point percentage. He provides much better shooting than J.R. Smith in the starting lineup, and I think he would definitely help increase the spacing for the Cavs on offense compared to Smith. JR has been pretty mediocre and inconsistent from three this season, shooting only 36.3% from downtown, and he's either very hot or very cold in a game. His marginally better defense and Corver doesn't make up for the big offensive gap difference between them, so I definitely think JR Smith should not start over Kyle Corver right now. And not to mention, I think putting Corver in the starting lineup will help solve a big problem at the end of games. Corver finishes a lot of games for the Cavs and against the Sixers. We saw Corver come into the game with 4.14 left in the third quarter and play the entire fourth quarter. Corver got no breaks from that time range and playing over 16 minutes straight is going to make Corver and any NBA player tired at the end of games. Kyle uses a lot of legs in his shot and playing him 16 minutes straight will make him tired, especially during crunch time where at that point, he may not have the same lift on his shot. This problem could be solved by starting Corver at the beginning of the first and third quarters, then taking him out at about the 5 minute mark and then eventually putting him back in at about the 6 minute mark in the 2nd and 4th quarters. This would help keep his legs fresh for the end of the games and I do not know why, Ty Lu isn't doing this. So for my second rotation change would be swapping Jetty Osmond for Rodney Hood in the starting lineup. Osmond has played pretty well for the Cavs as a rookie but I think Hood would bring a better scoring option and threat as he can shoot and is pretty effective at scoring inside at times as well. I also think this move coincides well with my next rotation swap which would be to switch Thompson with Larry Nance Jr. in the starting lineup. Osman could be the energy guy off the bench for the Cavs, with Larry Nance Jr. entering the first unit. For the record, I still think Osman can potentially become a starter for the Cavs in the future, but for now, I think he should come off the bench. Larry Nance Jr. is simply a much better player than Thompson as he provides energy, rebounding, hustle, and defense whenever he's on the floor. So in other words, he's basically what Thompson was supposed to be. Larry Nance Jr. has been very effective in his time in Cleveland so far as he's averaging 9.4 points, 6.4 rebounds, 1.7 assists, 1.4 blocks, and 1.4 steals in only 22.3 minutes per game. He's been a great finisher around the rim shooting 60.5% from the field on mostly shot attempts in the paint and he's also been a solid screen setter as well. He's simply much better than Thompson and needs to get more minutes than him as Thompson can't do much except for rebound which is something Zeke can do. Thompson has been terrible this season and he has been given plenty of opportunities to rebound from his terrible performance in the beginning of the season, but he still hasn't done that. Yes, he has been a little better since he trades, but I think it's time to take him out of the starting lineup for good. A starting lineup of Hill, Corver, Hood, LeBron, and Larry Nance Jr. has a great combination of shooting, length, and defense. Larry Nance Jr. handoffs to Corver on curls while Hill and Hood space the floor can be a very effective play and get the Cavs offense started in a hurry to avoid slow starts. Also, LeBron will have a ton of space to do his thing facilitating and scoring on offense as well. Osman would give the Cavs energy off the bench and it's possible that J.R. Smith can return to form off the bench and become the main scorer along with Clarkson for the second unit. However, I think once Kevin Love comes back, I'd move Korver back to the bench but try to get him some breaks in between stints on the floor. But you know, if Korver plays well in the first unit, it's possible the Cavs could move Hood back to the bench and start a lineup of Hill, Korver, LeBron, Love, and Larry Nance Jr. I think that may work well, but either way, I think the Cavs should definitely make a change in their starting lineup. But knowing Ty Lue, that may not happen, but hey, you never know. So Ty Lue, if you're watching this, please make a change to their Cavs starting lineup, as your team really does need it. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I do post daily, and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also drop a comment down below on what you think of my potential rotation changes for the Cavs. Are they good or are they trash? Let me know down in the comments below. I do read all comments. And let me know your rotation changes that you would make if you were Ty Lu. I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.